and I've said this many times before, who's complaining about living in Canada. Like, unfortunately, the complaints on Twitter aren't going to change anything around you. So you need to find a way yes. to build an environment around yourself in order for you to be happy. It might mean leaving the country. Good for you. Yeah, cool. do what you got to do. Out. But if you bring the same mindset with you from Canada to that other country, I promise the next country is going to suck the same way. But imagine actually having good immigration policy and actually being able to, uh, you know, attract good talent and keep good talent instead of just sucking in a bunch of kids and screwing them over and screwing up the fabric of society. So and... I'm going to give a shout out to my friend. Hmm. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he drove Close me home friend. from That's the dealership good. the other day as an Uber driver. Ah, now he'd been here for a year. He was um, in school studying. He's about 30 years old, you know, so he's he's coming out of um, in school you know, studying life from India. 30. And now yep. he's now he's in school again, you know, for, for whatever his walk of life was. Yep. And, uh, you know, he had a positive attitude. And he told me, positive he says, you know, he's attitude. not sure 100% what he wants to do, but he does he does like living life in Canada. And he was listening to a lot of spiritual stuff in the car before I got oh, that's in the car. Good. That's and nice. So he was getting right into some really heavy things with me. And he was just oh, a very... Boy. He was a very just like spiritual, like, you know, down to earth guy. And him and I were having a good conversation. And he's spiritual said it Uber guy. He, he was a spiritual Uber driver. Uber drivers. Those very, guys get clearly. it done, man. Yeah. He said it very clearly. And it was, and it was, and, it, and this is very obvious. You are in the environment that you create for yourself. Okay. He didn't mm. actually say that, but I just verbatim, mm. like, tried yeah, to, okay. you know, not, not verbatim, just sort of, you know, make it so that it sounds good. Paraphrase. But, paraphrase. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm paraphrasing what he's saying. You make the environment. You, uh, you, you, your, your environment's only as good as you create around you. This is a right? horrible job, by the way, of paraphrasing. Just so you know. Yeah, and he said, he said, look, he says, there's people right now who are, who are new in this country and they're miserable for X, Y, Z reasons. There's people who are born here for the same same reason. And there's going to be a lot of people who are, um, you know, living the best life they possibly can because they're able to look at their situation as the half, half glass full type of uh, mindset. And so for anybody right now, in my mind, and I've said this many times before, who's complaining about living in Canada, like, unfortunately, the complaints on Twitter aren't going to change anything around you. So you need to find a way yes. to build an environment around yourself in order for you to be happy. It might mean leaving the country. Good for you. Cool. Yeah, go do what you got to do. Out. But if you bring the same mindset with you from Canada to that other country, I promise the next country is going to suck the same way. Yeah, you're coming with it. But hold because on a second. That's not totally true. I There's lots of people that shed the Toronto uh, big city dream and go to um, wherever the fuck and they pay, you know, 500 bucks a month for rent and they go pay two bucks for eggs and bacon and pancakes. And, yeah. you know, Did you see that on a social media, uh, a media account. And and what kind of course? Were yeah. They and that selling? guy, that guy doesn't make what any kind of course? money by teaching you how to do the what, same thing. Yeah. What but, kind of course were they selling there? Come on. No, but the truth is, if you know anything, I mean, like if you go to other countries, it is very different. And the cost of living is very Give different. Give me an example and, of somebody, you know, who left Toronto, who the to another country and Italian. he's sitting there going man life is so good here right now and i got all of my ducks in order in my life oh, go ahead well now. okay well come on that's not fair but listen the guy yeah. has a business here in toronto still he has property yes. here in toronto still he has property over gone there for a in couple Mexico. years he's been gone since the they they announced that they were going to shut down air travel during the you know the the big pandemic yeah. and so he is actually one of the stories that saw the grass is greener on the other side now is he still vitali in mexico of course he is right yeah. but life is different and life is slower and maybe it's not easier because you're still you but like it's like saying that money doesn't bring happiness it's a bunch of bullshit right people that don't have money are the only people that think it doesn't bring happiness having money allows you more opportunities for said happiness now is that Darryl, shallow is my that spiritual below? uber driver told me yeah all right well that money okay. does not bring happiness well you and gotta be happy within right. yourself success is not having what you want it's wanting what you have if you believe that money brings you happiness there will never be enough money in the world to make you happy you I'm will not always saying want it's more. the only thing that but you'll always you want more. But no money is not what makes you happy. I'm telling money you. Money is what makes you need most to want what you already people... have. Yes, it's a tool, 
to oh. be able to experience the life that you see best that for yourself. Uber driver and doesn't want what he currently has. And he's not sitting there going, I'm so grateful that I'm an Uber driver. Like he has an aspiration. He's trying he's to get somewhere, he's right? Happy. He's also and 30 and a student from out of town. Like, good fucking luck to you in this. He's not married. And his parents, when he goes back to India, oh. are going to force him to get married. So he's That's living even the good worse life now. right now. He's living the single life. Like, comment, and subscribe if you got anything from one of these clips. And if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was, that was good. good. That was good. I like that. That was good.